Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of St. Joseph Metuchen is brought to you by Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Monroe is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Neri Rodriguez coming to you from Woodbridge, where the best in Middlesex County hockey meeting for the Kalodney Cup final. Third seed 13 3 3, St. Joe's Metuchen taking on top seed 18 3 1, Monroe. Falcons have owned the last four matchups. Aiden Grinspun wasting no time getting Monroe going. Less than two minutes in, Grinspun just in front of the blue line lets it rip and hits. Aiden Grinspun draws first blood for Monroe. The Falcons with an early 1 0 lead. Monroe tacks on another score courtesy of Vinny Amabile, but how about the goalie work from Peyton Million to end the period? Monroe ahead 2-0 after 1. Jake Drum not impressed. Four minutes into the second, Drum finds net, and the other Falcons down by 1 to start. They kept applying pressure, and in the closing seconds as time expires, Monroe putting together a big stand to end the second. They still lead 2-1. The early goals kept coming. As 13.52 remains, Vinny Amabile fires for his second goal of the night. It comes less than two minutes in, and Monroe up 3-1. Later, they get into some penalty trouble and are skating two men down with 9.15 to go. Jake Drum takes advantage, and Drum with his second goal brings St. Joe's within one as they're down 3-2 late. Final two minutes, Joe's pulling their goalie. Albert Scarmato makes the steal. Cookies finds Nick Izzo, and from parts unknown, Izzo sinks his first of the night with 106 to go, and that would be enough to hold on for the dub. 4 2 your final for the first time since 2018, Monroe, you are Kalodney Cup champions. The Falcons rank 19th in the state, escape a possible comeback as Vinny Amabile finishes with two goals. As mentioned, Monroe snaps back-to-back -back losses in the final and hands Joes their first loss in the big game as it's their first time they lose the championship. We caught up with Vinny Amabile and head coach Kevin Felice after. It, it sounds nice, dude. We've worked so hard all these four years, the seniors. It's family, man. We said to uh, stick to our game. We obviously knew we were the better team. We had a lot more, uh, more skill on our hands, so... Uh, all we did was just play our game. Uh, it's it's a surreal feeling, especially after these, uh, you know, coming up short and back-to-back -back finals. It's a it's a surreal feeling. Um, can't say I'm surprised with the you know the work these guys put in from from the jump from the get-go of the season. You know, they from day one, they they believed they believed this team could. You know, we we battled, we fought. You know, we dealt with some adversity and, and, and we handled it. Picked each other up, didn't turn on each other. Uh, I'm just couldn't be more proud of these guys. <laughs> Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone. I'm Neri Rodriguez.